start. Right exactly from this chair, I can see the name of the you-know-what place that I'm boycotting. I'm not saying the name oh. online until next week. Uh, I've talked. To, I, I, I posted a report on what they did, this company that gave my daughter something that they shouldn't have given her. They gave her the wrong thing. She was then five. And I posted a report, and they told my attorney that I had until Tuesday to take it down. And I was like, well, I didn't say anything illegal. I said exactly what they did, so not happening. Right. You want to pay my daughter the bills and pay the bills that incurred? We'll talk. Right. And they have until Wednesday. So I talk about it online. Wow. Well, when you're a mom, that's what you do. You protect your kids. But anyway, on a happier topics, we were talking about the many wonderful artists. We have Rydell Danzi. We have Ted Abel. We have um, Tim Abel. Tim yep. Abel, sorry. They're yep. looking at you. Uh, no, <laughs> And we have um, Brian Franklin. Franklin. We've got we've also got two artists down at the boardwalk, which a favorite with you guys always. Um, if you ever watch Californication and the new show Wilfred, which I reviewed earlier, um, a lot of shots from the boardwalk down there. I got uh, Ari, the glass blower. We're going to actually go on remote location. We're going to take Ted TV into a glass blowing shop, and <laughs> we're going to visit uh, Ari. And we also have. Oh, I'm going to be, um, this is a new little service that uh, I'm doing this for my friend John Conley. He's on the boardwalk. He's a former homeless man. He now has a place, and he's uh, finally got it through the services here, and it's great. Uh, he pays 58 bucks a month. You know, I've never been over there. He's like, it's nothing. It's all on the wall, but I'm like, you know, John, you're off the street. I'm so happy. Good for him. John needs to have to sleep on the boardwalk because he's a vendor on the boardwalk, and that's where he slept, but now he's got a place, and he saw me doing all this recording, and he thought, man, you know, I was recording his table, recording him, and he goes, you think you could, like, share that with my, you know, my, my, my family? Because they don't even know what I do. They don't know, what, you know, they just know I'm out here, and I try to tell them that what I do, and they don't, they don't have a clue. I said, John, I'll come by. So on Wednesday, I'm going to go down onto the beach, and it's going to just do, like, a 15-minute thing for John, but I'll try to do it live and see if we can't bring you guys in on it, too. But I'm going to do, um, no, I probably won't do that live. I'm going to do that offline so it'll be a nice, clean video without a bunch of judders. And, and then I'll put it up on TED TV. Um, so I'm going to let John just kind of show up his little, you know, 10 by 10 uh, vendor space and say hi to his mom and dad and his brothers. He's, got, he's, he's number four of 17. I know. Wow. 17. He's got 16 brothers and sisters. There's no way that's all one mom. Is that all one mom? All one mom, all one dad. Oh my god, that is wow. I did the same thing five months ago. I met John, the first person I met when I got to I when I arrived. I did it twice and I wanted a freaking gold medal. <laughs> 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 wow. Well. Yeah. Although I will say I love being pregnant. Being pregnant is so cool. It's just the feeling of... There's a human being that you can completely protect. You know, it's you never feel safer as a mom than when your child was actually beside you. And it's right. a great feeling. Love, love to be pregnant. Yeah, I um, I used to tell when I was married because like Diane never wanted to ever ever bear a child. You know, never wanted to have a child. Oh, Didn't want to deliver a child. Nothing to do with the child. Even Nick Kelly, Leanne Connor Gower, offered to be a surrogate mom for us. Wow. Yeah, she did, but we were like, well, I don't really think we want to be parents. You know, mm -hmm. we were pretty much right there. But I had the private conversations with Diane. I was like, I can't believe you never want to carry a child. It, it, literally, if I, I don't want to sound weird, but because it happens to have the population, it, it's not freaky, but if I have a baby grow inside me, I would say, yes, 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 I'll do it. Oh, yeah. I would love that. I think for eight, nine months to sit there and have a little seed grow up and stuff. Everything changes. That's going to turn into one of these kind of human, mm -hmm. you know, which is this. It's going to turn into a 15-year-old that dances with some of the most amazing dancers in the country. It's going to turn into a six-year-old who draws with the GIMP 26 program, which they use at Pixar. It's mm. going to turn into, you know, people that... It's so hard to, uh, for me, it was never a question because that's why we're here. Right. We are here to, I do understand the whole zero population thing, I really do, you know, and so that some people choosing not to is actually a very responsible thing, but for me as a woman, it was just never a question. I know some women that I respect hugely, Anne Cottonelli, knew from day one, just that was not for her. 
but she has a dog, and she's very much a mother to that dog. I mean, that dog had hip replacement surgery. She took time off from work to mom that dog, to take care of it, give it physical therapy, mm. you know? So we're all different kinds of parents. Right, right, right. Yeah, we had some good parenting conversation. Um, so was it Thursday we talked? Oh, yeah? Sort of fun parenting talk. Yes, yes, yes. Because she's a great mom. Yeah. I think we should just do a show on, on, on Scarlett being a mom. Thank you. Well, I can't wait till Daphne and Jess can be here so you can see my amazing, beautiful, smart kids. Mm-hmm. And one of the things I love about my daughters is their hearts are so big. Mm. My daughter, Jess, is an incredible artist. I mean, just insanely good artist. And I, I can barely draw a smiley face. But she's determined that she's going to encourage me until I'm a good artist. So the other day she was talking me through... a making a stick figure and you can barely tell it was a stick figure. I know where my talents are and I'm just not an artist. So we were Skyping with each other and I drew it. I drew the, the, the stick figure and I held it up and I just heard her applauding and applauding, you know, because she was trying so hard to encourage me. And I thought, you know what, that, that big heart is going to get her through life, man. That, mm. And both my kids are like that. Ooh, mm. I worked at Dean SRC and yeah. Andy's is good. Okay. just wanted to go back and see that. Um, you know, I'm thinking... I'm all for taking a break, uploading some videos. Sure. Because I like to get yes. these, I can tag yes. them, title them, throw them up on YouTube, get, get them, them out, out there. there. Because that's what people want to see, that the Larry Hankin, they don't want to just see Ted and Scarlett Babel. And, you know, oh, hell yeah, they do. And, well, I'm thinking, they, <laughs> I'm thinking they do too, but let me just take a break from being in front of the camera longer than 10 minutes. Be get some work done here, because I, I want to get this up. I feel, like, I feel like that's more important right now. So let me get these videos up, and then... Um, I'll announce on Facebook when we come back. Uh, if you got, if you're following on the uh, youth stream or signed up, I'm sure you get a warning if you're following me. Uh, it's two o'clock right now, so I don't know, maybe two thirty or something. Just start looking around, and maybe we'll be back by that time. All right, so we're gonna say goodbye for now. Thank you for being here. I'm glad we got the letters straightened out. Thanks, Billy. That was uh, better. Talk to you soon. Bye.